Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to create this look right here using all black owned makeup brands. So if you want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, please turn on the bell notification so you can be notified every single time that I upload. Now let's get started with the tutorial. I am using all black owned makeup brands so you want to support them if you can't donate. I will link all the products down below as well as any organizations that you can donate to so check the description out. But right now I am going to start off with my face. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Perfection Primer. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer and it is 30 milliliters one ounce. It was pretty expensive. Um, I went on their website and I picked it up. It's really lightweight, it's not heavy at all, but you still get one ounce, which is what normally you would get with other products. Um, this is more hydrating, just by looking at the product. But I am going to focus this on my T-zone. And then I'm going to apply a little bit on the cheeks. I am breaking out a lot, as you can see. So, hopefully this helps me out with the pores, at minimizing and everything. It feels really nice and hydrating, very lightweight. Mm. It doesn't feel like a pore minimizing product. Since the foundation that I'm using is more mattifying, this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I'll be okay, so this is more hydrating and this is more mattifying and combining them together is going to make it look more mattifying and it's not going to feel like tight on your skin. I do have two shades. I have the shade Malta 640 and I have the shade Capri 630. Capri is a little bit darker so I like to mix them both but I mostly put Malta which is a little bit lighter on the top one. I don't use everything. I just wanted you guys to see the colors but I'm gonna use some combined. I'm using this blender from Beauty Bakery. It's in their little blending eggs um, packaging. Isn't it so cute? You get six sponges, which I think it's great. I used to have the other one that had blue and pink sponges, but I don't know what happened to them. But this one feels really, really nice. The other ones were a little bit more stiff, whereas this one's a little bit softer. And this is how I like my sponges, a little bit softer. But as you guys can see, this foundation is full coverage. Um, it covers really, really nice and you can build it up if you don't think it's enough. For me, I don't think it's enough sometimes because I do have a lot of blemishes and imperfections. And that's why you see my videos um, and you feel like, oh, she wears a lot, but... That's just how my skin is built, you know? I need more coverage. Um, maybe other girls or most of you have perfect skin and you don't need as much. But to me, I do need more. My skin is more uneven, I think. Especially since I've been running outside. I've been getting a lot of sun, so I've been getting more dark spots around this area right here. I do not know why, because I am using sunscreen and i am wearing a hat as well to protect myself but i can't wait to get to the gym so i don't have to run outside but i'm everyone's still scared you know with the whole corona i still feel like we're not back to normal we're gonna move on to concealer and for that i'm using the juvia's place concealer and this is in the shade 23. i love this shade i did purchase two other ones and they weren't the right shade but finally I got the right one I've been using this concealer for so long I'm just obsessed with it I'm gonna use this to prime my eyelids as well I'm going to do a natural look well natural to me it's not gonna be a halo or it's gonna be more of a cut crease but a softer cut crease and I blend with the same beauty blender but the pointy side and then I'll just go in 
And this has definitely great, great coverage. And this concealer is hydrating. It's not drying at all on the skin. This um, coverage is like the Tarte Shape Tape, but it doesn't dry your under eye. Definitely check this concealer out. It's about $10, but I will link it down below because they always have sales going on. And you guys should take advantage of that. They either have like 40% off or 50% off for the face products. And sometimes the eyeshadow palettes, which I do have here. I have their eyeshadow palette, the Nubian. This one here. And I also have another eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery. And then I have another one from Colored Rain. But I think I'm leaning more towards the Colored Rain one. For powder, I do have three options. I have my Juvia's Place powder in White Sand. But as you can see, I am out of it. And I am out of my Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter. I have a little bit left, but I do have a new one. I'm leaning more towards the Beauty Bakery one. And I use this one in the translucent shade. This is Oat. So I think this is the new formula. I have the old one and it's just as translucent. So I like to start off on the eye area. Just since that one is the first one that creases. I put a little bit of extra powder on this area. Next is bronzing. I do have the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Private Island. This is the powder one. So this one is just a little bit more orangey. This reminds me of like Give Me Some from MAC. It's a dupe for that. I think this one is the right shade, definitely. I was between this one and Shady Biz, but I think Private Island is the best choice for me. And now I can spray myself with this Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace Baking Spray. And it's just so cute. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a cupcake. Let's move on to highlight. I am excited, but... Hopefully it's not too dark. I'm using the Beauty Bakery Illuminator in So Icy. On the website, it looked lighter. I'm mostly going to put it on my cheek area. This would look so nice if I had a tan. For blush, I'm using the Juvia's Place blush in the shade Sarafina. Look at this packaging. It's so cute. This is like an orangey blush like a terracotta peachy blush and it's very pigmented so make sure to only grab a little bit i just tapped it and look at all that just put it on lightly i'm done with the face now i'm moving on to eyeshadow i do have three like i mentioned before the first one is the beauty bakery proof is in the pudding eyeshadow palette this is the palette right here from beauty bakery it's so pretty and natural i love it I was going to use this one, but the shimmer shades are not that blinding. So I'm going to use the Queen of Hearts Colored Rain Eyeshadow Palette. This is it right here. I'm going to use this first shade right here to blend it on my crease. Ooh, I love this shade. So, so pretty. These are blending out so good. I've used Colored Rain before, but only their lip products. I've never tried the eyeshadow palette. I am building this shade up so it can be like a medium brown. And I'm going all the way to the inner corner. The next shade that I'm using is this one right here. It's like a little bit darker. And I'm using that with a smaller brush. This one I like to pat it. And I like to go a little bit above the crease. A little bit here, but under the other shade. Wow, these are such great quality. I am shook. And once I'm done with that, that's when I'm going to cut the crease a little bit. I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer with the flat brush. I'm just going to place it a little bit down here. And then you look up. And that's where your cut crease is supposed to go. Mm, 
maybe this is too high for other people but for my eye shape it does work and now I'm going to put the shimmer shade I'm probably going to use this gold one here I'm gonna start off with that one and we'll see how it goes I'm using my finger Ooh, girl it's a nice copper shade Now I'm taking this Morphe brush with Jaclyn Hill JH41 and I'm going to get closer to the edge with this. So a little bit above. I am going to take a little bit of the highlight just to make it a little bit lighter. Oh yeah. Mix it pop more. And now I'm taking this Morphe M506 brush with the darker brown. And I'm going to blend both of them together. And a little bit above here. Let's move on to the lower lash line. And I'm going to use the light brown shade first. Now I'm moving on to the darker brown with an angled brush. And I'm just focusing the... closer to the lashes and only the outer corner I'm trying the brow down eyebrow pencil by Mented Cosmetics and I got this in the dark brown shade it just doesn't see the shade on here it just says brow down so maybe that's the dark brown shade and it does have a spoolie on one side Mented Cosmetics I've never heard of them before but they're not as popular I think as the other ones that I've talked about before but they do have a lot of products and I got their lip liner as well so we're gonna try that later for the lips but right now I'm just going to draw in this eyebrow here I'm going to start off in the front and then do the back side perfect color I love this. It's not even breaking on me. Usually I take so long doing my brows, but this is so easy. It's gliding on perfectly. And the front, I just like to blend it upwards. You don't want this part to be so harsh. I'm obsessed. Look at the difference. Eyebrows are done and I am obsessed. Look at this. Like seriously, I need to purchase more of these eyebrow pencils. Definitely check that out. And now I'm moving on to the lips. I'm just going to do the lips and do the lashes last. For lips, I'm using the Mented Nude Lip Pencil. You don't need to sharpen this pencil, which is great. That's pretty. I love this color. Look at that. I did get a colored rain um, matte lip paint it is a little bit more pink than I expected I wanted it to be more brown so I can go with the look but this is the shade right here hopefully it's not too pink yeah it's too purple I'm just going to put a little bit of that and go back to the lip liner kind of Blend it out first. I did apply one lash off camera. Now I'm going to apply the other one. This is from Colored Rain. And it's their Full Mink Lashes in the Style Checkmate. This is the packaging right here. And this is the back side. So easy to apply. I might have to look at their other lash styles. But this one was the one that I liked the most. It's really, really fluffy and natural. It doesn't look too dramatic. This is the whole look right here. I am obsessed with it. Look at that. I love the skin. The eyes are my favorite. It's like a nice gold smoky look. Usually I'm not in love with the brows because of the pencil. But this one is amazing. I'm obsessed. I'm definitely going to purchase more of the eyebrow pencils 
and the eyelashes as well i need to purchase more i did love this skin like always juvia's place is great it's a great line for skin and it doesn't feel cakey or anything it doesn't feel dry it feels very very comfortable the foundation primer was okay i think for the price i think it's a little bit expensive the eyeshadow palette amazing you guys should pick it up it's so so good it's like an everyday palette but you can also build it up for a nighttime look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video right here if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye